Hi everyone and welcome to another one of my weekly toy hunts. I'm currently at Walmart and they have some of the new holiday Barbie dolls for 2022 and I'm loving the whole poinsettia design. Those are just gorgeous holiday flowers or succulents. They're something. <laughs> I know they're originally from Mexico which is awesome but I love the poinsettia theme. They did a great job on the dresses. They have these two dolls. Um, I love the brown hair one. Oh so it looks like they have four total. That's awesome. I do like the selection. I love the vibrant red. And then again, the dress folds almost like the poinsettia leaves with the layers, which is really pretty. Cool. And then next to here, we have some new Alf Mal. And oh, they have the series two little plushy blind boxes. Oh, that's adorable. So it looks like there's eight plushies in series two. And then they also have some of the little Mimeos minifigures. Yes. If you're looking for those, remember those ones do have codes. So that way you can cut down on doubles. And then up here they have like this bigger set. That's a cute, cute one. They're sold out of the small doll. And then it looks like our Heart VIP pets have something new with cats. Look at that, because they usually have the pup, pups. So I heart VIP pet cats, and they come in this little bottle, and the stopper up top, like a perfume bottle, is a cat head. Oh, wow. That's my first time seeing those. And moving down, they have some of the new Mermaids dolls. I believe these are the color change ones. So we have this doll, and then, not sure why that one sideways, and then we have this larger set. Well, that's a really large set. So that's cool. Nice to see some, some new dolls within this line. Is Walmart still kind of resetting their, their aisles? So I may not um, be able to show like everything, but they do have some of the little mini brats. Oh, it looks like you can get makeup and other accessories, not just the mini, mini dolls. And then they have a nice full LOL surprise section. Um, including some of these. Are these new? Or are they old? I don't remember the little British car. It's cute though. <laughs> and then they also have like that big play set. And then they have the super awesome mini sweets. They have the Hershey Kisses set and the Otter Pop set, which yes, you do get all three figures, which I think is really cool. And I'm, I'm so tempted. Very, very tempted. They also have the LOL um, mini sweets. Oh, look at it. 1688. That's like the little machine one. I feel like these gone up in price. And then these capsules are 1088. I feel when they first came out, those were like nine something and the other ones were 15, not 16. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that a price hike? Everything just seems to be going up in price. So I guess it would make sense because that's a popular line now. And then they also have all of the rainbow high new dolls which are pretty cool from the Rainbow Vision. I think this one's my favorite. She's really pretty. And then they also have the little rock band from, from Shadow High as well. Cool set. On the next aisle over, Walmart has a lot of the Magic Mixy Mixlings, the four pack, the play set. They even have one of the Walmart exclusive cauldrons as well as the refill pack. So lots of stuff. They also have a lot of those um, little purses with the eyes. <laughs> and then down this aisle is where they have their Disney Dorables, which they have the small packs from the new series, the large windows. Ooh, they have a villains one. The rival rivaling royals. Well, look at the guy from Mulan. He has a big knife. <gasps> they have a Maleficent dragon. Oh, that's cute. So you get the hero and the villain. Okay, the the guy with the knife is, is very spooky. <laughs> I like it. That's that's a neat idea. And then those little packs. So do they do like the find three, four, two, three anymore? Or do you just get two now? Or no, I guess you can still find them. I haven't opened the small boxes. And then they have the Disney Let's Go. The little traveling set. That's cute. It's done like a little suitcase. Some electronic stuff. And then down here they have oh some some more new cute Titos. We saw the cookie Eatos last time. So these ones are called Island Eatos. 
And wow, is it the first time they're making like a little human doll you can find? <gasps> yeah, it looks like there's two little little girl plushies. As well as a cute little pelican bird. So that's that's cool. So those are the island Eidos. And then over here they have more of the cute Tito's cookie Eidos. <laughs> which look adorable. Look at this little elephant cookie. Oh, I love those. That's awesome. And they're the jumbo ones. I'm curious if they're going to make more of the little mini ones. I haven't seen new ones yet. And then they have the Real Littles Pets, the Real Littles Disney Purses, Real Littles Shopkins up here. It looks like they have the Walmart exclusive set and the individual like food carts, which, oh, they're so cute. If you leave them in package, that would make for a, a cute little display. They did a great job with the packaging. Then it looks like they have a bunch of the Hap Hatchimals vacation ones. Got some Bubbaloons, Bunny Corns. Oh, more balloons. Cute. Oh, and the Toy Story Tamagotchis. I wanted to check if they had a Forky you can raise, but no. Still cute, though. You just can't raise Forky. <laughs> That's tempting. And then here's a look at the Crybaby section. So they moved these an aisle over. Um, they're in a different spot now at Walmart, but they do have a little playset. They have some of the new, like, winter winter snow ones they they come in like a little iceberg <laughs> i don't know but it looks like there's repaints of characters and they come with their little pets so those are the larger blind bags and then they have the single doll ones which is really cool and then up top here i don't really follow kindy kids anymore but they have some new items including this little alicorn where your kindy kid can sit on that's kind of cute i like the art design and they have a bunch of new dolls, and then they have these smaller little baby, baby dolls. <laughs> they're very tiny, but they're, they're pretty cute. They come with a little pacifier. So that's pretty cool, new, new kindy kid stuff. And then in the action figure aisle, oh my goodness, they have finally the Liberty Chica plushie, which is so cute. And they have a nice selection of figures from Special Delivery, including the Walmart exclusive Livewire Freddy. And then it looks like the Piggy action figures are on Series 3 and have a whole new set. Ooh, I like the raccoon. With, he comes with like a crowbar hook. <laughs> so here's a look at the, the new ones. It looks like they have all of them. They're still kind of resetting this aisle, but really, really happy to find the Chica plushie. She is like super cute in person. And again, comes with the Walmart exclusive tag. So that's, that's awesome. And then in the Pokemon section, they have a couple plushies, which are nice quality. And then we have the Mewtwo and Mew pack. And that's about it. Not not too much in terms of Pokemon. And I know they're, they're coming out with some cool figure packs. And then in the Star Wars section, they have this awesome, well, Vader and Mandalorian figure, but he he's holding little Grogu. How cute. He has his little satchel too. Oh my goodness. That's a nicely done figure for such a large figure. Like, if you just need one for your collection, that's a cool one to have. You got Mando, you got Grogu. What, what's more do you need? And then they also have some of those cool lightsabers, then the character ones, then a Boba Fett and Vader plushie. I don't know why one would want a Vader plushie. He's spooky. And then we have Lola from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, that's so cool. That looks just like it. That is that is a good idea. And then we also have some of those Micro Force ones. Oh, that's so neat. I really like that Lola. That's adorable with little Leia. That is too cute. Oh, and then down here they have Boba Fett's ship and you get Fennec Shand as well. And they have those little mystery blind boxes. I love that squadron set with the minifigures. Like, look at how cute. And that's a nice looking ship too. So... They did a great job on the detailing and, of course, the scale where the figures actually fit um, and are to scale. That's that's awesome. So lots of new Star Wars stuff. Really, really happy to see a nice, nice stocked section. And I really like that Mandalorian figure. And then the DC section has some really cool retro looking figures from like the Superpowers line from DC. And they're actually made by McFarlane Toys. 
which is cool. And look at this old bat wing. Like, how neat is that? I love the retro packaging. I'm a sucker for that. Look at the supermobile. It has little fists that are going to punch you. <laughs> that's, that's so cool and cheesy, but cool. It looks like they have Green Lantern, Superman, and Dark Seed. They also have some of those page punchers where you get a comic book and a minifigure. So they have Batman, they have Black Adam, they have The Flash. I just think these look really cool. And what a neat way to combine like a comic book with a little minifigure. I, I like that a lot. DC has a lot of new stuff out right now too. And then I had a dig for him, but they do have a Batman superpowers in back, which I really like the the look. It looks like it's just those those four for now, but they did a great job, and they're only like nine ninety seven. And then next to the DC figures, we have some Transformers. Um, this guy looks new. His packaging is all messed up. There they have like the transforming. Um, Megatron from the Red series, which is so cool. I wish they make like a Galvatron for the other half of it. That would be that would be so neat. <laughs> that would be awesome. And then some more of the Legacy figures. There's a lot of beat up boxes. And then they have some of the the newer blue packaging ones too. And then we have Coronation Star Scream. Some Beast Wars down there as well. And then also the super awesome looking Galvatron. And then in the Funko section, they don't have too much in the way of new items. I realize now there is a Yelena Hawkeye chase figure of her, which is pretty cool. Um, she's awesome. I love that character. And they also have more of the Guardians of the Galaxy ship. So we have Drax. And look at he's sleeping. That is too funny. And then there's cute little Rocket. Oh, that's adorable. And then they also have Star-Lord. Oh, and then they have one of the new villains from Disney, the Evil Queen on her throne. Oh, the classic peacock-looking throne. That's that's a beautiful figure. I know they're releasing a lot of Halloween Disney stuff. I think there's even like a Halloween train. Oh, look at there's a cute little Hallmark Funko Pop Jack ornament. <laughs> oh, and some pins from Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, see, I like these. These are the small size, not like the huge like figure pins. Those look really cool. And then, of course, a lot of cool collector items. They have a nice anime selection, some monster, monsters and the horror series, as well as this little um, Degeneration X WWE pack. That's a Walmart exclusive. Cool. I'm back home from my toy hunt. Time for the haul. And thank you to a few of you who were telling me you can find the Liberty Chica plush at Walmart. And I finally did at my Walmart. And how cute is she? They did such a good job on the plushie. She's actually really soft too. She has the Walmart exclusive tag. Little Mr. Cupcake there is just a felt piece and so is her crown, but still absolutely adorable. She's definitely cuter than the figure. The figure is also a Walmart exclusive, but really happy to add the, the plushie to my collection. I have a lot of random items in this haul. So the next thing I purchased was this DC Superpowers Batman. And there's just something about the retro packaging. It's actually made by McFarland Toys, um, the company that does Spawn. And it was a good price. It wasn't like the $17.99 um, figures. I think he was like $9.97. And it looks like he has a cloth cape, which, which I like. And overall, Batman is my favorite like DC hero line. That's actually the only one I know. And it just reminded me... Back in the day, as a kid, I had read some Legend of the Dark Knight comics, and this reminded me of that style. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to pick them up. They're new, they're cool, they had um, a bunch of the sets, they even made like the old Batwing, which was kind of neat, so impulse buy. Then I picked up another one of the Alphmal Mystery Me Meows. They had restocked that section. They even had the new plushies, but they do have codes on the bottom. This is one of the codes um, I still needed, so that's cool. Definitely want to get some of the plushies. The plushies, I think, were $9.97, which is still a good price, but these guys are like $4.97, and they're super cute, super adorable. 
And then the last item I bought probably is an Impulse Buy 2, but Funko makes pins, and I don't do like the fig pin looking ones or the big ones, but they had this smaller set of the Infinity Saga Guardians of the Galaxy characters, which again is my favorite Marvel franchise. There's Rocket, there's Drax, and what sold me on that is that there's he's holding Baby Groot. I love those two. And then there's Gamora and Star-Lord. And I think this was like $12.97, but you do get four pins. They're a nice size. They look like they're cloisonne. And I do have a Guardians of the Galaxy like lounge fly bag. So I thought these would look really cool or maybe I'll just leave them in the package. But either way, um, I, I was glad to find these. You don't see like these little mini figure packs from Funko very often in stores. So that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can also join me every Thursday for another toy hunt. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.